The higher the deductible, the more you save. Sometimes though, it's worth looking at, okay, what does it save me if I go from 1,000 to 2,500, right? Can, if I don't have a claim for five years, am I gonna come out ahead? Right? And so basically that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to save money on your homeowner's policy. But you also don't want to save money if you don't have it to pay for it, right? Because if you have a claim, that deductible is taken out of the money that you'll get um, in return. So it has to be something that you can afford. Um, and you also want to just make sure that the savings is nominal, right? So you wouldn't want to go from 1000 to 2500 if the saving, in my opinion, is $50. Because in 10 years, you've only saved $500 and you raised your deductible by $1,500. So you have to look at that. But then also there's the hurricane deductible. And hopefully it's a hurricane deductible and not a wind and hail deductible. If it is a hail claim or a non-named storm and you have hurricane coverage, it will fall under your AOP deductible. But if you have wind and hail, a wind and hail deductible and not hurricane, any little thing that's wind related is gonna get picked up on your wind deductible, your wind percentage most of the time. You can get sometimes hurricane deductibles for a flat thousand dollars and not a 2%, but what you typically see is a 2% hurricane deductible. So again, let's use an example of a house that's worth uh, the, the value of the house is $100,000 and you have a 2%, so your deductible is $2,000. If you have a million dollar home and you have a 2% deductible, it's $20,000. You can get uh, anywhere from a 1%, 2%, sometimes 3 sometimes as much as 5%. But I, I just quoted a home, a $300,000 home, to go from a $1,000 deductible to a 2% hurricane deductible only saved $78. So in my opinion, it wasn't worth it to go from $1,000 to over $6,000 deductible for hurricane. Um, but those are the little things that you gotta pay attention because they make a big difference, right? So on that same example, if you have a $100,000 house and you have a 5% hurricane deductible, you're at 5,000. You have a million dollar house, you're paying the first $50,000 if you have a hurricane hurricane loss.